Yeah, this is good information. I like that they instantly reassess and try and take the fight. Two players in towards the A site, but it's a Hellfire inbound. T-Dog has to get something done here. <laughs> it's going to be cheat code instead for the 1D. Chef also combining streets will trade, and they're rocking their way around the maze. 3v2, make it just one. All up to streets, but we've seen him do it before. He's already gotten one! Make it a second. Venture's gone. 9 HP, and Chef is going to take the long ride around. Maybe try to fake it a little bit. One snake bite out to actually contain the space, and he's jumped left. up 20 seconds to recover the spike and to find his opponents. But his opponents found him. And nice tag from the Owl Drone. More delay coming through. It's going to be both poison orbs on the spike right now. Seth is going to try to get the plant off or the defuse off at the wall, but instead it breaks. And now it's all up to Venture. Taps it again. It's not half, though, and there it is. Mozzie members with the... But nothing found. No sure. Oh, okay. He drops right through, but Cheat Code's denying. He gets in. Dismiss out. Streets is going to punish. Finally, we th think we get the spike down. No. And that's not enough time, but he's in the small hole. That was so close. As a blade, so does Fiend, and he's cleared space towards mid. Oh, he's going fast. Right over top of pipes. Cheat Code is in the Asana's position, though. And he finds one, two. He might even go for the ace here. They're slowed on ton of front of Jen, but Rick Dad will put him down. And like happened on the second round, this anti-eco looks absolutely fantastic. Unless Shocks has something to say about it. That's one. He's got the sheriff. The drone out is going to make this very difficult, though, unless he can find a peek on the chef. And Circle go up and top a nest, though. No sound. And I think chef might get kind of caught unawares from that. Venture trade. Streets also in the back line. 2v2 now. Scrappy as always. Zerk's still alive, though. And he'll find another. Three on the round, Fiend with the off no, and he does finally take out Zerk. But he's worried about the flank now. This will give time to plant. But he taps it, so Fiend knows the situation. He's gonna peek him anyways, he thought. But Fiend again, Operator in hands. He's so hard to contend with and shuts down Reprive. The headshot for extra measure. Ooh, wow, he's <laughs> nearsighted from the Leer too. These anti-ecos are just absolutely clinical when they do end up pushing towards Hey, but Zerk's got himself in an interesting position. Is Chef going to get shut down twice in a row from this spot? No. He's ready for it. And you're talking about Fiend on this A site and him with the Operator. How do oh, you no. end up shutting him down? T-Dog on the flank as well. And he's already found Rick Dad in the backside, but Zerk gets one at least. And he whiffs. Oh, no, he whiffs. He's not able to actually get it. And Rick Dad will punish anyways. Shocks there too. Finally, another round in the bag from Mozzie Members off of a well played initial pick and a good mid round. He is really on fire. And once again, That's Venture, you call it out every time. This information is massive. And they're not actually covering with the poison orb there. There's a slight gap that he's able to look through every time. And there's no way for them to really easily know that, right? For all they know, that could just be a spam. And look at Fiend going huge. And now Cheat Code holding close. Serena's is here. He's ready to deny this entire play. Only two players remaining for the Mozzie members. And Cheat Code, he's still ready for more. Street shuts down in his age wall to allow this plant safely, as well as that Viper World going out. The pit's up still. Retake likely with the advantage of the good fellas. Yeah, I don't think they heard him. Fiend is going for it. No, they didn't. Oh my Shock god! Is gone, and Fiend is going for the ace. They've got to find the Viper, though. They already tapped the spike, not on it fully. He's going to drop the Viper's pit and go for the 1v4, and it doesn't work. Streets, unfortunately, is not having luck with these clutches, but that one was finally an unwinnable one. Yeah, I, I mean, that was just a fiend round, Bala. Like, I don't know what they're feeding this guy, but he is... Another player on the back line. I think Chico might have made a noise because Reprive is looking for him, and he's out of the mid lane just in time. There's another... As the recombo combines, he almost gets caught by Venture, who's just found himself another kill himself. Maybe make it a second. He's going for a 1v5 right now. Mimi, Reprive, though, is also going for the ace. You're circumventing here. wonder uh -oh. if he's considering trying to keep that off, but he has another three frags. If nothing else, like, Mazi Mamazico is not good, right? Like, the round is going to be over. They will win and out, but that's so much damage dealt. Uh, like, I feel like we need to see a little more discipline out of them to, to chill out once they have that man advantage, but... Shock starts to delay a little bit more. He's watching the angle where Venture's coming from, and he's gone now, too. Seth is not able to get it. And from what looked fantastic from Goodfellas, it falls apart. The there they go through, and I think they know now. 
All players down at Yellow are gonna be able to fight this. This is actually a firing range for them, and it doesn't work at all. Completely shut down. The res even makes it a five versus one, and D-Dog is caught with his tail. You could find a lot of value with this because nobody expects the kitchen flank. Shock's gonna go for the half though, and that might make the difference. Never mind. Oh, they go for the full defuse. Oh no, they got it. No way. Marcy Memba's full sticks. And they are so close to tying this up after that pistol round. What a play and what an idea. No noise, I think, is what cued them to just go for it. Shox is already through. Streets is going to go up. And he gets it. But long range is not going to work. And they get forced back and lose. They give up the site. And things become very difficult now. Unless Reprive can find something. There's two now. He gets finally shut down by, of course, who other? Fiend. T Dog 2, though, and it's all left to venture all of a sudden in a one versus three. Streets pushing a little aggro. Zerk up on top of the nest. He gets a little damage done. Rick Dad's gonna start to stick. He's about half. There's another shock dart, though, and he gets him. Did he get the half? If he got the half, this is still doable for Zerk, but not after this. Venture has gotten himself all the way up maze, and I don't think that Zerk knows. Nope. A close round, but. Hey there, Cut Noise, your exec, or try and make a rotation. The Lurk is kind of off the table. They know they've been holding for that now. Oh, I didn't even think of this. They have the orb, and now that's Fiend back up. There's no way for them to counter this out. It's a one-for-one. One. Rick Dad or Cheat Code as they both pick up a frag, and 30 seconds on the clock. They're still cutting sound. Mozzie members, it looks like they're biting. They're working through mid. This could be a flank, because it is the exec to come out. That updraft, though, should give them the opportunity to know that it is going to be a i thought for a moment that they were going to run out of time but Ten no seconds left mozzie members gives it up planted but it's a double flank a dart as well to delay and seth will push with it but do they know streets is here not quite but it's only one so it's not the drastic difference and fiend has the op trained on the position wow Rive's got the knives though, and he's gonna go for half. Seth on this one. Can he spam it through? No. Snake bite there, and he does get half and loses his knives though. Probably the crucial factor in actually being able to stay with this fragging power. Shox has got the op though. Finds the first. Do it. Go for this res. That's knives back up in the round. Zerk here with the sheriff. There's just too much of a setup here to make this really work for Mozzie members. I think they're gonna have to back off. No, Zerk doesn't care. <laughs> he was needing yeah. to die anyways. So I think that's the idea. Op is good here. Oh, T-Dog could very well shut this down. They're both headed towards spawn. They need to hold on to this operator. T-Dog's unaware though. Not gonna over peek this whatsoever. Really needs to deny the spike here. Try and get something done. The pit's oh, up, no. but they can still plant in this. Zeph's not gonna get stopped and this basically nullifies the pit completely. Yeah, but another pick gets traded, fiend. Has been a monster all series. He's looking to lock it down right now on this first map. It's just Rick Dad and Streets. And the Viper's Pit is actually working against them here. They have to leave their own smoke against four guns trained on the position. Recon Bolt doesn't find anything spam going through. Don't make it like pistol round. Don't make it like One pistol round. Remaining. The spam works. Rick Dad left alone, and there it is. Good fellows. Ends up winning out the first map 13 6 against Mozzie members. Yeah, that it did. Oh, Chico, what's going on? He's found one, maybe a little more. No, Shox will shut it down and towards main. It's going awry. Venture reloading. This round is scrappy. Now it's down to a 2v3. The Cypher wounded in Seth, so T-Dog has to make a statement here. Has to find an impact, and he dishes out damage. Silver down low. Reprive looking for the fight. No, knock T-Dog down a peg. One HP on both these players from the Goodfellows is round finally has an opportunity to breathe. Retake here. Very, very hard, unless they can find something quickly. Look at the position of Shocks very close up, T Dog. He's got the frenzy as well, and both low means that this will be quick. Work, except he fires out the rest of the clip. But that Venture and Seth are literally crossfired specifically for this, and Shocks is doing that every time. Is that a phantom running spray headshot? Of course it is. Oh, make it three for Venture. The spray transfer from him is also ridiculous, and Reprive literally stuck. talk about containment. That is the best picture I think I've ever seen. And in he goes, but Trap Wire slows him down, and there's also the KO knife too, so no other utility for him, and Seth's found him. V Venture's there too, this is another lockdown. Twice in a row, they go for this B side, and Seth and Venture have combined for so much. Seth's still alive though this time. 
He's gonna push through and around that switch house and T-Dog will clean it up as well. He's in another completely crucial position. He should be able to left. shut this all down. There, there, there's no way they hard clear him here, right? They have to though. No, no one's looking. He's ready. One, two, T-Dog does it all. I like the position too, because they're in market to be able to actually catch the rotation, but the orbital strike is there. Venture is now, oh my God, a three-way. Three-way crossfire and they run into it. T-Dog there, Seth there. Venture there! This is the first time they're actually taking through here. There's gonna be the flash through, but cheat codes here. Orbital Strike 2! It's gonna force him right into it! And that is destroyed! I, I, like, my brain can't fathom that, that they're still trying these just quick executes. It's worked one time out of seven rounds. They ended yeah. up just walking the A site. There's the, from the shadows into the back of Jen. So they circumvent the utility from Cypher, but here comes Fiend and he gets shut down. Streets with one on cheat code as well. So not even able to use the no command in this round. Venture with shocks though, does find one, but Seth left all on himself. And this is the flank from Streets that actually, go yeah. When the pistol, this is, this is very winnable for them. 100%, I mean, very, very doable. You talk about Icebox, it was 7-5 and you know, the next half was the real rough part for them. So I wouldn't even yeah. say that this is like a drastic departure from where we were last game. Is Zer is um Shocks. Molly coming through, but they've got both sides to deal with, and the Molly in the back site for them as well. Shocks very close. He gets taken out, and they've actually cleared the back site. Goodfellow's making really good work here, but quick down the stairs. That was not expected at all. Never mind. It's reprived, clearly. And T-Dog, ready to work. One versus one now, but it's streets against T-Dog. Nice jump spot. That was the situation now, and it's gonna be a full-on gunfight. Ammunition to spare. Nine bullets, actually, these classic bursts might actually end up costing him, and they don't eventually, because streets is just gonna put an end to it right away. Another pistol round win for Mazi members. The gun advantage with the Mazi members, but now another one falls. Trades there from Shocks, and that's the spike. No, no, I was gonna say, if T-Dog got that one, I would have been livid. Being left in spawn, yeah, no chance. The spike is down on cat, cheat code, like you were mentioning. Last player's gonna be able to try to get the spike, but no, Shocks will clean him up. So now they can isolate. Break that, finds T-Dog, finds Fiend too, and that is huge. Streets is already through, and he gets both of them too. Unbelievable. Fozzy members just shut it down in a really, really awkward position to be in. And that's why Streets goes for the gamble, pushing out of the stairs. Will the spike get planted though? Left. Venture's done crazier things before. The one versus three on Icebox was him. Team Flash coming through already, the shot. Oh, the op does the damage though. And Revive can just tag him the feet and that's all good. Fozzy members, they're getting closer. Yeah, I, I think if that op shot doesn't come through, we see a world where he wins that. Heroic plays, Rick that in the back lines. Uh, I mean, Goodfellas, maybe a little bit lazy not to clear it here because they get this absolute punish mm -hmm. out of Rick Dad and then Streets is here to help out as well. A second frag on to Cheat Code really sealed the deal for me and that really is. Alt coming out, Seth holding close in for this door. There's lots of utility just delaying. This paranoia misses, one, two, Seth shutting it all down. T-Dog helps out, it's one man alone. It's the op on shocks and and they've actually denied the spike plant for quite some time, so a lot of time for them to work through. Zerk still has flashes too, and oh, he doesn't get the shot off. Fiend's gonna punish him. Reprive still going for it. Zerk two against one, and it's just venture. Set point off the camera. Zerk. Oh, T Dog with the jump up as soon as that recon bolt comes through as well. T Dog again. He gets the ace. This man is. Literally, he's very quiet throughout the entire game, but all of a sudden he just comes through with an ace. His gun playability too. Is he gonna push through? No. For a second it looked like. The deny is still up as well with the fragmentation. Here comes Zerk. T-Dog's there. Cage as well to fall back, and he's going for more. Three players left to find, and they're all up in heaven. T-Dog trying to bring this game back and save it. Stop the momentum where it stands, and he does just that, and the rest of Goodfellas too. Shocks has to fall back to save the op. But they're chasing. He's actually slowed down. 
Then we throw a cage in. T-Dog able to push forward, find the first frag. Cage gets popped. We see it here in the replay. This gives him safety and a smoke to play around where Prive has no idea what's going on. And the fact that he holds on to tree control allows for a crunch towards heaven. Because once they have that man advantage, they just kept on pushing. T-Dog's in. So it shocks down the stairs, but Rick Dad is there for one. Cheat code is just insane sometimes on these trades. And all three Wait, members damn. left of Mozzie members are spotted on the flank. Run it back available. I, I don't know if they want to commit it here. KO has been out for, what, two weeks, and he's already so proficient with lineups on a very rare situation here, which is the defense flanking back into B main. Hold on a second. Zerx is actually making this expensive in the west of Mozzie members, too. Acting like he wants to go for it, but no. No command out to kind of deny them to fall back. They can't find anything. Venture's gotten to run it back down. Shock's not finding anything either. This might be the last hurrah, but Reprive is here, running through while suppressed. They actually throw smokes down now. Spike is down. The Flash gets them. Oh, Reprive! That is massive. Streets will get the last one too in what looked completely scuffed. To head into match number three. Aussie members trying to hold on and bring it back into overtime. Many big moments from both these squads. I mean, if you're Mo Mozzie members, you really need to win this map. Because you lose out, you go into your opponent's pick. Shocks could go huge here up in Shroud. They break him too. He's up, he's in. Oh, he gets the flick too. They don't even know because he died so fast. And Mozzie members is shutting it down. Looking clinical on this one too. They still got the camera dart inside of him. Pulls it out finally. That spike is on cat, so if you... Nah, they're here already. No way, right? Nah, 12 seconds. Shock's losing forward. Fiend, that's a little bit of damage, but Venture's got the spam literally with an Odin. <laughs> Washington come through, doesn't catch anything. Cheat code's there. Streets with the trade. Two versus four will have to be. For good fella or for Mozzie members to stay in this game, Streets has been massive. Time and time again, will he do it again? Nope. Fiend is trained on his sights, and there you go. Good fellas go up 2-0. Kind of switched positions on when this would happen, and during the time of the round, they're gonna push actually into spawn, and it works. The trade possible right now. Shocks is gonna continue. No smoke sound on the site, but they've already got some space because Fiend's up in there, but on cat, Zerk is there. It's all left to just Shocks. Eleven bullets in the frenzy. No dash either. Shock Dart 2 and Venture again. He's just so good with those. He's on point. I like the aggression in towards spawn, but what I like even better is the adjustment from the good fellas. Venture yep. all already. Here it comes. It is going to be exactly that. Flash through as well at the same time as the paranoia. T Dog is stuck in the corner, but they are all flashing themselves. It doesn't matter though. Ooh, they've cleaned up the back of sight. Still want it. Cheat code. He's gone too. So it all works. The force worked for Goodfellas last time, but this time we've also got. Oh my goodness, this could be massive. Hello? Oh no. 18 bullets in the Spectre 2. He heard him. There he is. He's on default. No way! Did that just happen? He brings it back. Because this shouldn't be happening. This yeah. shouldn't be possible. It looked like they were playing that correctly, right? They had the crossfire, but the swings never came forward in the right time. Venture denies it all. There's a shot through from Reprive as well. They're going for the half. I don't think he got the half there. No, he did. And it doesn't matter anyways, because, wow, they weren't there on the spike. It wasn't planted for them. The two lanes that they're controlling made it easy. The pace change right now. It looks like they want to actually go for exit. Shock Dart's coming in and a recon bolt. They've got to be careful. They're swinging on this. Zerk's here. Suppression has happened. Venture's still inside of spawn, but Bean just dropped down and steps with them too. Zerk cleans it up though. And I like the ideas from Goodfellas there, but the gunplay is just too strong. Five versus three, Mozzie's members, they have to fight their way back out. They have to find this spike. T-Dog there shuts down one. Crossfire can be established. T-Dog falls, but what's the matter? His trade is in quick cheat code to shut it down. Just in case. Yeah. Things could have gone awry. Shock's still up in window. Cheat code's pushed out. And a clean round for Mozzie members. He gets oh, he's both. Cheat code finally will shut him down, so... Oh, they're in with this! They're in while the spike's planning! Literally, multiple members on the site! 
They fake the plant though, and it all works out for them at the end of the day. Drop the spike. Yeah, it really could have gotten risky with the players on the site there around that cage, but shots go wide. Not quite gonna happen. They're still faking this plant, really trying to draw a cheat oh. code. That they will. Ooh, through the box, so great shot. This might cost now me. he has the lineup. Yeah, they this is very losable. Especially with the Phoenix on one HP. Pop flash over for himself. And he has the Molly for in close. This is so, so doable. Okay. Never mind. Okay. They're hunting too. T Dog trying to hold on to the weapon. Should be able to get one here that he will. Doc's gonna do better. No, T Dog again. Hunt goes wrong. They can wait it out. There shouldn't be a third for T Dog, but even then, it's like. This is happening so fast. Oh, through the smoke. But still, there's another crossfire literally taking the place of the former. Street's still alive though. And now on the backside, Fiend is actually reloading. He's going to go for it, but just barely misses the head of T-Dog. He's going to flash back into this and fight. There's not even a run it back. He may be getting snow, nothing. Okay. Okay, buddy. Cheat <laughs> <laughs> code, my man. He is, he's turning up. Forward for support. Zerk still trying to force the matter. Lurk. Oh my God. How does he hit that? Now there's a flank of factor of pride. He can go so huge in this situation. Zerk forward, flash misses. Trades come through. Versus three, it's a retake. Plants is down. That he's gonna go for from this side. Doesn't clear it though. But out comes, oh, he still gets the shot. Out comes Fiend and it's all left to Rick Dad. They might think he's playing down long though. That's usually the position of the soul, but yeah, no, he's gonna get one. Is he sticking it? No. Recon Bolt to determine whether he's pushing or not and to get him off spike. And now the time is pretty much over. So good. Is he actually getting the ult? No, he's actually finding streets. He's inside a garage instead. And Fiend will push him as he's isolated. Another cage to assist and potentially lurk out of, but Fiend's already close, still in the same position. They have to fall back again. They can't get into that site. Nope. He can TP out if he wants to. Is he gonna get a smoke down? No. They're through. Flash as well. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. Her lies on Reprieve getting this. Oh, what? Are you what? serious? He's oh. literally <laughs> jumping classics. It's still here. 2021. Seth with the ghost to Fiend also. As soon as as soon as Reprive falls, it's over, but I, I still am mind boggled that he could hit. They had to be relegated to winning that third. Now, good recon dart. T Dog just gonna capitalize off of it. Nice and swift with this A site open for business and utility just setting them up for success. Bit of damage dealt, but Dox is on one HP. Shouldn't be able to happen. <laughs> Oh, what? okay. Yo, this classic verse is hitting right now. I don't know. Everybody just switch off. Add your Maybe prime. they just use classics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Spike planted. Quit the prime classics, start jumping around. I think they're aware. Oh, yeah, 100%. Five streets should be in short order. Yep, just the full sprint. Yeah, it really does look like a round on the board for them. This is just insane at this point. Seth gets one, another. No, this shouldn't be winnable. Shouldn't be possible. Classics out the right click again. Shock Dart trades adventure alone. He's one HP though. Inspector. No way. Right? They're playing this together. Ready for this trade. They know his position now off no, that no, spam. No, no. Oh no. <laughs> what they already know is that there's no chance in this, at least for them to go for it. Shock saves the op though, and that's the key factor. Op saves alive. Taking it to shocks. Oh, that actually takes him out. He's so good on these. Every time in another guardian shot, but still two for him to play with. Okay, this is for the ace. With a guardian, there's a flash. He turns it, but it's not fast enough. Zerk is too quick. But no flanks coming in from A long. Everybody's in the back of sight though. Rick Dad's finding one. They're pushing it. A little tunnel vision though. Rick Dad will trade even though. A nice shot. Okay, all up to shocks. He has the op. Trades to the Vandal. 1v1. He's on the site and he doesn't know. That was the most dangerous weapon to take out of the server here. And look at the setup for this knife. This will really stunt the retake. No utility to work with. And no, they're just pushing straight on out. T Dog trying to hold, finds the first. Cheat Dog as well. Cheat Dog, that's not quite his name, but both these players working in conjunction. You could almost it's call that him that. It's a flawless round. Talk about a useless, like an ult that seems useless at first glance, completely changing the way the round is playing. He's on A. 
falls back eventually anyways. Shox is in the back of sight. Zerg's here as well. Hold on a second. This is not going as intended. 12 seconds left. They got to get the spike down. Good fellas. There's two players here. Shox! He goes through with the smoke. But it's only one remaining. And they're going to get the spike down eventually anyways. Looks like we might be going to match point. Streets. It's not... All three coming in from spawn. The flash is good from Cheat Code, but it's a trade. Unfortunately, Zerk is quick. t Dog still on the site anchoring. Seth is there. Ventures all the way back. No Hunter's Fury now, but maybe Shock starts to play for. Look in the back site. Nice smoke here from t Dog to play off of. One enemy and yeah, there it is. A shot from Venture. A shot Attack from Seth at the same time as t Dog pushes in. Good fellas are your champions of the Pax Arena.